from one adventure to another. Now, it is that time of the year where people are baking a lot and filling up their cookie jars. And Chef, the one thing that is always on people's menu is a gingerbread something. Whether it's a gingerbread loaf, whether it's a gingerbread family. Palisa, I think you need to come in because we're about to make <laughs> a gingerbread family. Not gingerbread man or gingerbread woman well, or gingerbread com baby. Like she completes the family she again, completes you know? the family. I was like, you know, two of us? No, it's going to be funny <laughs> as well. You know, it's all about the family. Absolutely. So here for it. No, no December holiday will be a proper holiday without gingerbread men biscuits. And because the festive season is about love and family, we are creating a whole gingerbread family. Yes, we've got daddy, we've got mom, the kids, and of course, we are also gonna be dripping them in Clover Bliss desserts for the extra delicious flavor. Tumi, lead us to my extended family. If I was to lead, I would finish the whole bliss before we even get to the end. So let's rather let the chef here lead us with the baking because okay. we know you're the master baker. So show us how to make these. Right, so very simply, you're making a, a cookie dough, you know, that's got your, your ginger. So in here, I've got my, my eggs, my sugar. I've got that um, lovely golden syrup that really helps give it that, that snap that you want, which is very typical of making your, your gingerbread. And to that, we're gonna add in our flour. So again, sieve it, because you wanna break down those globules. You know, you don't wanna sort of be rolling it out and then you come through this little pocket of yeah. um, flour at all. So pop that into there. And then just a really good tip. Actually, if your sieve is actually a really good sieve in your kitchen, it should have little tap marks on the side. That is how you get product in there. Don't go, mm, 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 why? Yeah, because I was just gonna like go in there with my spatula to make sure. No, because what you're gonna do is you start pushing globules or something that's a little bit heavier, it goes through the sieve and creates bigger gaps in your sieve. So you don't want that, so just tap away, let it snow, <laughs> let it snow, <laughs> let it snow. Michael, let it snow. Michael, <laughs> let it in our kitchen, <laughs> honey. Yeah, 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 no, what do we do? Anyway, the rest of that into there, and then into that, some salt, salt bringing the flavor through, and then ginger. Now, if you really like ginger, ginger fan? Yes. Ginger Definitely. fan. Definitely. I love ginger. Speaking about in, in, in any recipe, I love ginger. So are we able though, you're using ginger powder, if we were to try maybe a raw ginger, more fresher ginger, does that work? In so this? what you could do is actually candied ginger. You could actually take it to another level and you have these little globules. But what's gonna happen probably is gonna happen when you start doing this and you want shapes and you want a perfectly neat shape and say so that looks like a gingerbread man, not a ginger, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Disfigured. Disfigured, <laughs> discombobulated individual, then yes, you don't want to do that. You okay. can maybe add them a little bit later on or press it into, which I'll show you just now. Gotcha. So to that, all we're going to do is start mixing our dry and our wet ingredients very simply and bring that all together to a lovely dough. Tell now, me it's already smelling like Christmas. It smells like Christmas oh. all the way over here. And Chef, before we get into all the other details with this, I've tried making gingerbread cookies before at home and I've realized that the... Uh, They've turned out dry sometimes. And is that a reason? Is that because you've either overbaked it or overmixed it? What could be the reason why it turns out too snappy instead of nice and so, 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 so dry in there, you gotta watch your sugar content now. Because remember, you got you got you got your you got your sugar and your that um, golden syrup. That golden syrup really does act and actually almost sort of dries it up. That's what gives it that beautiful snap. So be very careful. And also don't overwork it because that's also you, you're toughening it up the mixture. Yeah. So remember you're developing that gluten, it's gonna firm up. <laughs> and then you try, you know, if you don't rest it long enough, it's uh, not gonna snap so nicely as well okay. and actually going to be a tough chewy cookie at the end of the day That's so better than okay. no not at all so anyway, that comes together so beautifully and effortlessly like that so i'm not going to worry about that too much and then what's important is then you want to actually roll it out now if it's wet and sticky like this here as well yeah. pop it into the fridge chill up a little bit okay. no problem stiffen. at all yeah and let it stiffen up then what you're going to do is what i've done here you're going to take that yeah. make that disappear and <laughs> here's what i started making earlier you know this right. looks incredible. It's got that shine. It's got a wonderful sheen, sheen to it as well. Um, now, I'm rolling it between your um, greaseproof pieces of paper because it saves you adding more flour oh. to it. All right, it so great with it. as well. Which, again, that's going to start drying out. You're going to start changing your, your okay. ratios with your, with your mixture. So pop that in there, and then you can just sort of chase this. Actually, when I do all my pastry rolling at home, by the way, is I actually roll between cling film. Okay, yeah, and everyone has got cling And then film all, home. remember just to pick it up, release it, because what happens, it, it starts curling up like Alibaba's shoe. So release it, <laughs> yes. pop it back in there, and then you can roll to your desired 
thickness that you want. Lovely. Right. Now, Chef, keep ro rolling, 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 oh. rolling. Oh, rolling, you, gotta you couldn't resist, huh? I couldn't oh, do you're it. Doing so festive, girl. <laughs> do me on your side. You're on Decorating Station. Now, Tuesday's show was all about keeping things cute in the loft. We loved decorating with Michaela, and that's what you're doing. That's what I'm doing now. But now that Chef is talking about the fact that you can actually keep, make sure they don't get too tough, if you're, if somehow you've overbaked your biscuits, you've got Clover Bliss Dairy Dessert because what that, that does is that it helps soak up or it helps basically moisturize <laughs> your overbaked gingerbread cookie. It is so perfect for this dish because you can pour it, you can sauce it. But Palisa, I think today we're going to choose something else. You're going to dunk it, right? Let me dunk it, hey, child. Dunk it, and girl. I'm going to take the baby. <laughs> I'm going to take the baby gingerbread and dunk him or her all day <laughs> into this Clover Bliss. Now, this is a chocolate dairy dessert. And I think that that accompanies with the, uh, the, the ginger as yeah. well. Oh, well. absolutely. Oh, chocolate ginger. So mm. warm and comforting. Anyway, whilst mm. you're on about that, I've actually displaced my ginger family out in the, in the cookie cutters. Now, if your dough is very soft, what you actually can do, leave that in place and pull away the dough, the, the excess the dough, dough oh. which you're then going to put into a ball. What this also does, it then leaves your gingerbread family looking nice and neat with lovely sharp edges. Okay. okay, so this you sort of just peel away just like that. Now, if your dough is quite chilled, and by all means, pop it in the fridge, allow it to firm up, and then cut it. Actually, a chilled dough will give you a much cleaner side. Pull It'll away. be nice and straight. So here, take that, take your baking tray, and with one quick sweep movement, one, two, three, ah. there we go. <laughs> On now, chef, <laughs> now, Chef, and how then, long does that go into the oven? So this, you're going to be baking for at 180 degrees for about sort of 10 to 15 minutes. Your ovens do vary. Mm -hmm. Be very careful with this if you haven't sort of weighed it out, you know, perfectly um, until it is lovely and cooked. It must be firm enough to actually hold its shape. But even that, pop those. I have at Christmas time loads of these in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Pop that into the freezer, mm -hmm. leave it there. When you're ready, you know, Polly's coming around. We're going to show the family. Pop into your oven, bake them off, and then you can just sort of, you know, Decorate them to your heart's content. I mean, let's go really simple here. You know, well, both of you keep decorating, keep them looking cute. I'm also going to get my creative bone going. And if you would like to try this at home, just head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. Made with love by Clover. Now it seems as if we're quite well on our way with filling up those cookie jars. Chef Charles, you were saying that we can freeze different things. So this huge glob of leftover, we can freeze this too? Absolutely. Pop it into a little patty shape. So, you know, again, you're going to be rolling it out and then roll it out when you've, you know, deep thawed it and off you go. So this keeps so well. And I always have any sort of form of, you know, biscuits, pastries, keep in the freezer. So when you've got friends coming around, you can bake off some lovely fresh cookies. Just put some glaze on, which is very simple, royal icing. And just like that. Icing sugar, egg white, one egg white to one and a half tablespoons of uh, icing sugar, done. And it'll set up nice and firm and you can just, you know, garnish your heart's content. Look at yours, oh, Timmy. Looking so cute. Well, hey, hey, it's like now, a little before, boy. There we go. Before our chef speeds <laughs> up everything in the kitchen, we have got so much more Afternoon Express headed your way in just a moment. And later on, Chef Charles will be showing us how to make tasty jam squares. <laughs> 